With the deadline looming tonight, the United Auto Workers Union is talking tough. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Now the union president is calling on locals across the U.S. to begin taking a strike authorization vote and send the Detroit 3 a strong message. The contract expires in just 30 days on September 14th and the union says that is a deadline not a reference point. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat is asking union members where they stand on the high stakes negotiations. The UAW president here called out auto executives for living the high life, saying auto workers at the same time are struggling, and that has to change. They make billions in profits and millions in executive salaries. In a fiery speech broadcast live on Facebook, UAW President Sean Fain addressing nearly 150,000 auto workers with a message that negotiations are not progressing nearly enough. Companies love to socialize their losses and privatize their profits. During hard times, companies like the big three get massive taxpayer bailouts. Meanwhile, workers are told to give up their pensions, give up their vacations, give up their pay raises, give up their standard of living. In particular, Fain calling out heads of GM and Stellantis, who've pushed back on demands which include ending wage tiers, providing double-digit pay increases of more than 40 percent, pensions for all workers, and a 32-hour work week. Stellantis even went further. COO Mark Stewart wrote a patronizing letter to our members saying we need to tone down our demands in the name of economic realism. The regular workers have not got a raise, and that's been my 22 years, I haven't got one. We visited the Warren Truck Assembly on Mound, where the Dodge Ram and Wagoneer are made. Do you think they're making progress at this point? It, it doesn't seem like it. What are you most focused on in this negotiation? Um, our health care and better wages. The strike was to happen. I, I still have a daughter in school. I, I still have to take, I still have to pay my bills. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do with, with their proposal. I'm going to file it in its proper place. Fain also says growing EV technology costs are not based on workers. In response, part of a GM statement telling us, we've been working hard with the UAW every day to ensure we get this agreement right for all our stakeholders. We continue to bargain in good faith each day to support our team members, our customers, the community, and the business. Part of a Ford statement says, Ford is proud to build more vehicles in America and employ more UAW represented hourly workers in America than any other automaker. We look forward to working with the UAW on creative solutions during this time. Lastly, part of a Stellantis statement adding the discussions between the company and the UAW's bargaining team continue to be constructive and collaborative with a focus on reaching a new agreement that balances the concerns of our 43,000 employees with our vision for the future. The last 10 years, have been the most profitable in Big Three history. They've collectively made a quarter of a trillion dollars in North American profits over the last decade. Some auto workers also tell me 12 hour shifts have not been uncommon for six days a week, suggesting in their mind that the automakers are building up an inventory of vehicles in anticipation of a possible strike. From downtown, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Okay, Simon, thank you for that update and stay with 7 Action News and WXYZ for this developing story on the UAW contract negotiations with the big three automakers.